the season begins with the Community Shield against Chelsea. We've got a new signing. It's somebody United boot we're after a lot and linked with a lot as well. Welcome to a new episode of the 08 or 708 Man United series. Here we go. Welcome, folks, to the brand new episode of a brand new series of the Manchester United 0708 Retro Let's Play. I'm really looking forward to this series. I hope you are as well. The first episode was well received. Um, the creator himself is involved in the comment section of this. Thank you for the database. His link to his database, his website is down below. He's got more than one database on there. He has to put the link of the website in there. Fair enough. Um, that's what we've done in the description. You can check out his the links to his databases in there. There's more databases of other games of him as well, if you've not got the latest version. So we've got a transfer to go through. It's a sort of a transfer, but not really a transfer, but we'll get to it right now. Let's take a look. Roger Schneider is that Manchester United player. He is on loan from Real Madrid. He's 23 years old, of course. Bear in mind the, the, the database. Um, I got him on loan. I wasn't sure about it. I didn't think we'd have money to bring him in. He was like £10 million. Couldn't sell anybody. So he's on loan. He's on loan for um, the season. He's got a £25.5 million optional fee in there. I tried to get that down to £20 million, but they wouldn't go for that. So I brought him in because United always would link with him and never happened. It nearly happened one year when he was at... Where, where was he? Oh, where was he? Was it Inter? Yeah, and then they sold Eto, and then they didn't need to sell... They didn't need to sell... Schneider. So he's in, so I'm playing attacking midfielder. I want to bring him in. Bit of fun. He's on loan, so if he didn't work out, we can always move him on and not keep him. But we've got a decent fee in there for £25 million, pound, which is about fair, I think, for a player with United's quality. So yeah, one player I was trying to do, and I then I agreed a fee, I agreed a, trans, a contract, was R9. He signed a new deal at AC Milan. I really liked the idea of bringing him in. Um... And I mean, both when I was in the same team, but he wouldn't do it. Um, he decided to stay at, at uh, AC Milan, which is disappointing, really. Uh, has he got one of those as his, as his favorite club or something? No. So it's just weird. It, I could have offered more wages, but I wasn't desperate to do it because I've got Tevez, Saha, and Rooney who can play striker. So I wasn't desperate for him, but it'd be a really cool thing for me to do. We could revisit that in the future if in January he decides, actually, I will move on. But based on the valuation now he's got and everything, I don't think it's really, really workable anymore now, unfortunately. So if you do use the database and want to sign R9 for a team, go big early on with a fee and agreement and get the transfer fee and massive wages and you should be able to get him, but he might sign your contract anyway. But it's not, it's okay. We've got Richard Schneider in. So we're doing the open game of the season against Chelsea and the Community Shield. Um, they've got Balak, Drogba, Cole... Maluda, Cavallo, SCN, and I think it's Mourinho's manager of them, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, this season. So that's our line for today. We're going with scores have got in midfield. Rooney, Giggs, Winger, Ronaldo, Schneider, Hargreaves, because I want ball in midfield in there. This is basically back to how, how I wanted to play uh, on FM years ago. Um, this is either ball in midfielder, the iron playmaker, and two inside forwards, but Giggs is the winger, so he's he's not great on his left foot. And we've got more subs to name. Obviously, you've got to bear in mind the rules are right. We've only got five subs to name, usually. Um, now, whether or not they'll continue into the new season, I don't know. Oh, Guy Neville's fit again. He wasn't fit a minute ago. Now he is. Guy Neville starts at right back. Um, or right, right, right wing back. So, yeah, uh, it's not perfect. Uh, I'm not sure how many seasons we're going to do with this series. We could do more than one if you want. Um, it's more down to the comment section, really, what you guys think about it. Do you want to see... Me continue this to win the Champions League with Man United, or just do one year and see what we can do with them. I'm a bit more of a casual one-off series. Um, let me know in the comment section what, what you think, and I'll go with pride the overall opinion or what I feel I want to do. So I didn't see the manager of Chelsea. I'm assuming it's Mino at this point. I forget a little bit. Anyway, so we're going to, have to change this. Obviously, we're not going to direct. We're going on TV. We're going to extend the highlights because it's a one-off. It's a one-off live come of course. We're going to zoom in a little bit on here and. I think that's the speed we usually play into it pretty much, isn't it? So, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Skull's got to tackle and got the ball and get your carded. Your Davis has got a very major flaw in it. <laughs> um, Luda with a corner kick. Edge of the box to Joe Cole. Back to Maluda. Back to Joe Cole. Get out to him, guys. 
Okay, straight away. Uh, I was going to do this, but then I didn't set the also defend. We're going to just choose here. Guy level, no. Rear Ferdinand, no. Schneider, yeah. Edge of the box. Just mark edge of the box from corner kicks. Because I don't want him defending anyway. I just want him there, stood there, so they can't do that ball. And the minimum looter here. Good defending from Gary Neville. It's going to be weird saying that. Oh my god, that is weird. Same saying Cristiano Ronaldo, Rooney, and those players are going to be very weird. There's one, one player I would like to bring into this team, but I don't think we can get him. He's Beckham. Uh, bring him back to United. But it's so many players I'd like to bring in, but Balak. Giggs gets the ball back. He's Ryan Giggs. Down the left hand side. Can he find a cross? He's found Evra. Evra in the punch here. Evra. Was he going to shoot there, you reckon? Or was he going to pass that across to Rooney? I don't know. Corner kick. Giggs is going to take it. Outswinger to the near post. Evra's in there. Cleared. Watch the Schneider. Schneider kills it in far post. Cleared. Essing gets it back to Guy Neville. He needs help. Ronaldo. Skulls. Ooh, I thought he was going to shoot there, but no. Um, that's a bit of pressure from us now. So, even game so far. Again, it's all learning the mechanics of the team and, um, you know, trying to get the mindset of, oh, I'm getting the third. I'll go for this guy. He's good. No, what's good in the game on this dead base at this year? You know, it's, it's, it's why I think it's, it's, it's a different series, a little bit different, and it has a United connection, which is obviously really cool. Um, it's good for views, obviously, as well, which I'm not going to hide from that. It, it is good for views. My United content, it just is. Um, everything on the left hand side and really well here ball in the box was Ronaldo the first time he scores a goal in real life come guys I'm, I'm going to go I'm, it might be quite um, loud and I thought that was going to be it then but even game so far but we're not quite made clear good chances but we're starting to slowly be the better team at the moment and be on top still early days Neville be careful back to Rio that's fine Rio Hargreaves good ball to Schneider Schneider ball to Rooney Rooney's in Ooh, was he on side yes that's not bad, not that bad a miss, but Bridges now did a good ball at the top. Uh, he's got a long shot on him as well. I may actually tend to take more long shots, actually. Uh, I need to check that on the on the, on him. He's, he's got good long shots. He likes to do them. Um, let's just change this slightly. So get further forward. Shoot more often. He's got that long shot ability. He's, what is his long shots? Like 18, 17? 16, well, still good long shots though. And it, I think he's got that trait on him anyway to do that. So it makes sense to try and do it. Um, yeah, so the five sub things going to be a pain to get my head around. So um, that's because I'm not used to that. For years it's been, well, for a while it's been not having that. Rooney, down on the right hand side. Can they find a cross? Rooney needs to help. How he's arriving. If he stays fit all season, I'd be, I'd be amazed. Rio Ferdinand, ah, end of highlight. But again, full life come, guys. You're not going to see anything any, anything different here. Um, Ninety thousand. I think what when we stay, I don't think it's not. It's, there's only certain things that can change on the limitations. But we are the better team here. We just need to create something. But again, Chelsea are a good side. You know, the, one of the best teams in the league at this point. Born the box, Gary Neville. That would have been a rarity. Um, him scoring a goal. My first actual goal I ever scored saw ever saw get scored at Old Trafford United player was Gary Neville. Um, in a one in a game against um, Leicester, I believe. Now I don't know what the, the rules are on this. If it goes to penalties or not. Um, but we need to go with more attacking. I think just to see if we can conjure up a goal here. Ronaldo cuts inside. Go on, bro. Go on, bro. Go on, bro. <gasps> I thought that's the dream there. And um, the opening goal of the series we saw in a live come at least is from R nine. Um, not from the CR seven. Sorry. Co oh no. Balak, Cavallo. Ooh, well done, Scolzi. Um, Dyer was just worried about someone at far post. Jogger was in the quiet up to this point. Dyer will probably score now, now I've said this, but he, we didn't, we, we've done well in this game. It's been even. Just not really created much in the final third. Ball in the box. Terry's in there. Stoney gets, gets it away. Push out, lads. Cross comes in. Essien's in there over the bar. Yeah, it's been an even game. Uh, I think we've been slightly better than they have. I'm going to make some changes here, though, because players are a bit leggy. I don't want players on the pitch leggy that might miss a penalty. Um, I'm going to bring on Louis Saha at right back. And the only reason I'm doing that is because the penalty taking. I think it's will go to penalties in a second. So he can play right back for just a minute, hopefully. Um, it's not ideal, but I'm just thinking about the penalties. It's a bit of a risk, this, I, I, I grant you. 
and down the sides apparently going to keep this there but man, he's not going to well, actually will it even happen before the penalties get taken it might not if it does if it does then it does if it's got a winner now even better that's a poor pass but it's well done Giggs over the top if you can Ryan Giggs Evra Skulls ah uh, that's, that's, that's tiredness there the scores still won't give the ball away if he's tired. And it's going to go to penalties, I think, this. Or is it extra time? It is penalties. So, um, Ronaldo's best penalty taker we've got. For by Hargreaves. Has he brought the players on the bench? No, it hasn't. It hasn't made any changes, unfortunately. I would I would bring a new rule into this. Um, if you're in the match day squad, you should be able to take a penalty. Or if, let's say you were on the pitch and you took, say, Ronaldo got taken off tactically. Right, I wasn't... I think if you were on the pitch at some point during the game, you should be allowed to take a penalty. Maybe the first five have got to be players who ended the 90 minutes or extra time, whatever. After that, anyone who's on the pitch who's on the pitch at some point during the game can take a penalty. I think that'd be... I like, I like that. It's in both teams, of course. So you can stop all this, like, negotiating, you know, all these weird things like trying to get players off the beat. But, you know, I think it'd be really cool if we, if we could do that. So let's go. Um, penalty shoot out. I mean, I'm not sure how good their penalty shootout, how good their penalty takers are for Chelsea, but um, let's see how um, we do here. Van der Sar net. Can you say a penalty? No, he can't. Off the post and in. Is Ronaldo stepping up? Oh, he scored. I thought the keeper saved that. Shevchenko. Van der Sar nowhere near that one, I don't think. Hargreaves. Good penalty. He sent the keeper the wrong way on that occasion. Here's Lampard. Stepping up. Oh, he's missed it completely. Ryan Giggs. Stepping up. Oh, he's missed the penalty. Oh, come on. Giggs never missed a penalty in United career. But he has on this. He has on this. He has on this. In, in this. So it's even again. Rooney steps up. Back of the nets. Come on, Edwin van der Sar. Come on, Edwin. Ah, uh, I don't think we're going to. I think we missed our chance to win this. I think that 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 miss we had when they missed well was big. Was, was big. Yeah, there we go. Skulls, he missed the penalty. Yeah, you... Oh, get, get off, Chelsea. Get off. Yeah, I think one... It was didn't create enough, did we? Um, I think even game, I think it's a fair result going to penalties and just you, you can't miss the penalty with, after they've just missed one. Uh, who missed the big one for us? Uh, let's have a look when we get to the bit end here. Um, yeah, Giggs, you can't miss that penalty, bro. You've got to score that penalty. And was it was his penalty taken as well? 13. I think it should be higher because he doesn't miss penalties for United, but it is what it is. Um, he's got a score that penalty. He really does. I mean, um, Fort Maluda took scored his. Just no composure from Rang. He's maybe fittest played a part in that. You know, I do think tiredness can make it more difficult. Anyway, so, um, when should we come back? Well, I think the obvious one is Chelsea again because are they couldn't, are they couldn't, they couldn't hold us, but is it Reno's manager? Oh, Evan Grant. So where's Josie right now? I forget. Is he... Oh, he's unemployed. Okay. Because when he was at start... Anyway, I, I forget. I'm not a big Chelsea fan, so... I think the obvious one is to come back for the chelsea Sunderland games. Um, and go from there. Obviously, the maybe Champions League games are coming out in this soon. We should be in Champions League, shouldn't we? Yeah. Um, we'll see. Uh, I don't know if the next season will have like the group stages still. I don't think you can change that hard line coding of it unless they've been really, really good at editing it and you can do that. So we'll come out for Chelsea and Sunderland unless there is a Champions League game in between those two. Um, and we'll go from there. So if you have enjoyed the episode, hit the like button down below. Subscribe for daily FM content on the channel. Down below, links to my Let's Play channel and my EFC channels. I'll catch you guys all in the next episode. But until then, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.